wait to another interesting session of Quest for Literature. In the previous video, we discussed about the history of Australia in a very brief manner. So today we are going to discuss it in detail. Before getting into the video, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe as well as click on the bell icon and enable all option too, so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. The history of Australia starts somewhere around 7000 BC to 4000 BC. The real inhabitants of Australia were the Aboriginal people. The Aboriginal tribal people settled all throughout Australia. They have their own language and dialect. Before British arrival, the population of the Aboriginal people is between 3 lakh and 1 million. Most of the Aboriginal people were hunters, gatherers, and they were spirituals and artists. These can be evident from their rock paintings and engravings. The paintings are dedicated to the Aboriginal religion. The time in which the Aboriginals occupy Australia can be called as a dream time. It is a period of time where the existence, everything, the people, the animals, the land, the tools and even the dreams are considered sacred. The Aborigines can feel the sense of God in each and everything. They even feel the land, the tools, they have the presence of soul in them. So they consider them as sacred. The Aboriginal people believe that the space and time never exist. They are connected by knowledge, not by space and time. They feel that the whole Australia belongs to them. In 1606, William Jackson, a Dutch navigator, he is the first European to discover Australian coast. And he didn't discover the whole continent. He comes to a particular place and he feels that Australia is such a small place. In 1770, James Cook discovered Botany Bay and near to it they established their first colony in 1788 at Sydney. Australia is not just a colony, it is a penal colony. When the Britain prisons were overpopulated, they sent the prisoners to Australia. They feel that isolation is one of the greatest punishment that can be given to a person. The first settlers who comes to Australia were the convicts or the prisoners. Settlers starts occupying large amount of Aboriginal area. They started cultivation, but still the Aboriginal people's occupation were hunting and collecting food. In 1795, two wars happens between the Aborigines and the settlers, and the British settlers number increase after the war because they have weapons as well as they have war experiences. Next comes the smallpox which killed about 50 percentage of the aborigines. The settlers can resist the smallpox because they are already vaccinated as well as they have the medical facilities too. The aborigines are never exposed to such a disease. In 1851, a large number of people start migrating to Australia because gold was discovered and this particular time is considered as a big wave of migration after the British colonization. Before World War II, an incident that happens in Australian history, from 1910 to 1970, the children of mixed race parents were taken away. They were known as the Stolen Generation. The Aboriginal Protection Act passed by the government, which lasted 60 years, took the mixed race children until the age of 18 under the government custody and they were forced to adapt to the way of British lifestyle. In the camps, the children's condition were horrible. They were not given enough food to eat and they were also punished physically. It is said that 17% of the female and 8% of the male children are sexually abused. In 26th May 1998, Australia celebrated 
National Sorry Day. The people remember the mistreatment of the stolen generation. After the Second World War, there is an increase in the number of settlers. The people from Germany, Great Britain, Norwegia, Finland and Sweden start migrating to Australia. As people from all other places come and start occupying Australia, it has a Western culture. And the culture in Australia can be considered as a melting pot because all these countries culture fused together to form a new culture. The settlers start occupying in the coastal area of Australia and the aboriginal people are moved to the centre Australia which is not at all good to live. If you move to the central Australia within one kilometre you can see only three people that is the population density there. Many Aboriginal writers start writing after they get education by these British colonizers. Now, in Australian literature, they will be talking about the struggles, about the sufferings which they experience during the time of colonization. And another one literature you find within this Australian literature is the Bush literature, which talks all about the Central Australia. That's the end of today's video. If you feel the video is good, do like it and share it with your friends. Till the time we meet next, stay tuned to Quest for Literature. Keep reading and know the world. Thank you all for listening.